Hello and welcome back to Second Chance Saturday. I'm going to go over a few things that I rescued this week from the thrift store. I have two candlesticks here. They were 79 cents a pair that I added some wooden discs to the top. Here's another candlestick that I rescued from the, the thrift store, 79 cents. Added another disc to the top because I wanted them, I want to be able to put the pumpkins on here and a few leaves and such. Our pumpkin was a 39 cent find at the um, thrift store. We have a 29 cent pumpkin that I wrapped already with fabric and a dollar store pumpkin. Um, what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how I wrap these pumpkins and basically what I did was I cut a nice big circle and how I did that was I tried it out first to make sure I could get some to the top here that I could wrap some wire around and you have to get it centered or it's not going to work for you but basically you're just pulling it up around in a circle making sure you can see me okay let me try and bring you down all right so basically you're getting it all ruffled up the top here pulling it tight so it's wrapping itself around the pumpkin then you're going to take some wire and I do this just to hold it in place so when I glue on the twine I have a pretty good um, hold of it and this wire is pretty slippery so I usually end up using my pliers to hold one end and pull tight I'm going to wrap it over itself pull even tighter then cut it and pull it around and twist it Again, to hold it in place. Now, for this, I'm going to use my glue gun instead of my glue pot because sometimes when you're doing projects like this, it's easier to see to glue it where you want it. So I started this one already. And see, I, I rely on my pliers a lot so I don't burn my finger. But basically I'm wrapping around the top part because that is going to be my stem. And what I do is I glue a little bit as I go along. Now if I wanted to, I could go back over this and paint the stems a different color but I want to kind of keep them natural at this point. You have some gluing thumbs and of course they're not where they're supposed to be. They're hot glue uh, rubber fingers that help you with the heat of the glue gun. When we get to the top, you're going to end up having to like go around in a circle.
I always keep a glass container of aloe on hand, which is something everybody that works with a glue gun should have. It's really inexpensive at Walmart or Target. Because these hot glue guns can give you a second degree burn or a third degree burn. So you really want to be careful. go. We got it all wrapped. Now because I'm still seeing a little bit of the um, the wire that I used at the bottom, I'm going to take a piece of this and tie it around the neck. a little um, colored raffia that I got from the dollar store. So I think what I'm going to do is use this to tie the raffia to the pumpkin. I left the ends of this a little long because my plan is to take Mod Podge and wrap it around a pen or a pencil and Mod Podge it so when I'm done I'll have this curled piece of twine that looks like the vine from the pumpkin Okay, so that's how I'm going to do that. All right, next we'll work on the green one and see what's going to happen. These are going to sit on top of the candlesticks. Okay, and then we're going to decorate. I have a little moss we can put around, and then I have all kinds of um, things we can decorate the pumpkin with. Drag this through a little bit, get it to the end there. There. And then start wrapping.
order to get this to lay flat at the top, I'm going to trim off some of this fabric so it's all about the same height. So when I start gluing it in on itself, I shouldn't have a problem. I have a glass cutting board down here so I can put my uh, glue gun on it because I use the big um, folding tables and I don't want the glue to melt the table, the hot iron. So. This one, we'll use some brown. Have some Mod Podge out here, so I might as well show you what I mean about the um, about doing this. Um, a little Mod Podge on the rope, and then twist it around the pen. I'm going to do the other one too. And then we're just going to let that set up. even try hairspray. Now, what I would have done here, I usually have clothespins down here for unruly things. It looks like I only have one. So, going to have to improvise. Where's my wire? Just cut off a little piece of wire to hold it in place. Or here we go. I use a pipe cleaner just to hold it in place. There. We'll let that dry until the end. And then we'll hopefully it'll be ready. All right, now let's wrap our big one here. I'm not sure. I may put the, I don't know. 
we'll see. All right. A little bit of wire. I'm just trimming it off. Sometimes it's easier just to take your pliers and just keep twisting. There we go. Trim off the excess. You could also get some of these pumpkins at your craft store or Dollar Tree. I just like to go to thrift stores because I'm repurposing something. I'm giving it a new chance on life. And I'm also helping my community and keeping it out of the landfill. Plus, I get a lot of inspiration from things I find. So that's the fun part, the hunt. I find something that I really catches my eye, and a lot of times I don't do anything with it for a while. But I know I'll come up with something eventually. This one's really easy to do. And they may not always look perfect, but that gives it that, like, not vintage, what's, I can't think of the word I'm trying to use. It just gives it character when it's not perfect. For this one, I don't know. I think I like I think we'll go with this color. Make it natural.
and then I'll curl the ends like I did on the other one with the Mod Podge. Just kind of get a look at them. Maybe it looks better with the big one on the lower one and then one of the little ones on the top. I think I like that. All right. Now what we're going to do to our candlesticks, and I see a gap here, so I'm just going to temporarily fill it in with a little bit of ribbon or a little rope right there. doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole look. There we go. All right. Messy. So I'm just going to put some on the outside because the pumpkin's going to sit in the middle. I just kind of want to disguise the, the base a little bit. Sometimes it's better to have like a box around. You pull this out in the box so you don't get it all over your table like I am. And then what's really hanging, you can just trim. Okay, so that's number two. Okay. Now, what we can do is kind of put a few leaves around here. Give it some color. I don't think I'm going to glue my pumpkin on because this way if I decide I want to change change it up I can 
I can add a flower there. I can add a flower here. I have some little picks with um, acorns on it. Or I have some acorns from the dollar store. glue them on the base like that And this was actually a pick that I found at the thrift store for like 79 cents. want too much of the stem in there because I don't want it to offset the pumpkin or make the pumpkin crooked. smaller ones I, I may add some more um, leaves Let's see if this stiffened up yet sure did see made it look like the vine and you see that didn't take very long all right I need a few more leaves. This one, I have it on the orange leaf, that one have it on the green one. So I think with this one, I'm gonna glue this 
right on the yellow. There we go. So 39, 39 a dollar, 79 for the pears, 79 for this, 79 for our leaves. And of course we had twine on hand. So that's it. And then I'll show you what it'll look like on a table. So I have a beautiful fall colored um, table runner. I think we don't need the whole thing. We'll just fold it in half. What do you think? Wouldn't that look beautiful on anybody's table? Okay, there we go. So you can see you don't need a whole lot. Actually, I think I'll move this to the middle. And see, maybe I should do this. But I got three. There we go. All right. Thank you for joining me on our second Second Chance Saturday. Look for me again next Saturday. And we'll see you soon. And happy hunting. Thank you.